Because again, transformation doesn't come through struggle. Transformation comes through awareness. And there is no way to be more aware as you're struggling. The harder you struggle, the field of your awareness gets narrower and narrower and narrower and narrower and narrower. The more you struggle, the more narrow it gets. And as you let go of struggling, the field of your awareness gets vaster and vaster and vaster and vaster and vaster. That's why you can be at the beach on a warm, sunny day. And you can get into an argument with a friend of yours. And you can be in an argument for, let's say, half an hour. And you become completely oblivious to the sound of the waves, to the feel of the sun on your back, to the sound of little children playing around you, to the cool breeze as it flows through your hair. You can pl- all you're aware of is your argument. So your consciousness has narrowed down to something very, very small. And yet when you lay back on the beach and you relax naturally without trying at all, you hear the waves, you hear the sound of them crashing on the shore, you feel the sun on your face, you feel the breeze across your skin, all of that just because you stop struggling. So to not struggle doesn't mean to not pay attention. It doesn't mean, oh, there's nothing I can do. I'll just stop struggling with all this and I'll just go, you know, do something else. To let go of struggle is a very, very, very engaged thing to do. It's one of the reasons whenever we come together, we sit for 10 or 15 minutes in silence. Those 10 or 15 minutes are really actually just an invitation not to struggle. That's all it is, just an invitation. Don't struggle. You don't even have to struggle with what I'm saying because I'm not saying anything in those 10 or 15 minutes. You just, like, you just sit, right? Now, if you've ever tried to meditate much before, what a lot of you probably have experienced is you can be sitting there struggling to do nothing (laughs) when there's literally nothing to do but sit there. And most people are so hooked up to struggle that they'll sit there. There's nothing to do. There's nowhere to go. There's not an argument to win. There's no job, there's no children that need your attention, you're just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. And what will most people's minds do? They'll struggle. And if there's nothing around them to struggle with, they'll struggle with themselves. So the mind goes, well, there's nobody to hate or be upset with. I think, I think I'll do that to myself. <laughs> 